our next core value is about being connected. And our, we're connected in three ways. The individual is connected to each day. When you show up to the rink, uh, you have a, a big purpose. And, and your purpose is, is about getting better today. It's not just lace up your skates and hope you improve. We're connected as a team. And this is where the brotherhood's gonna come in. And at Red Bull, we're also connected to our brand. We're a part of something much, much bigger than ourselves. But today, what we're gonna talk about specifically is this brotherhood. And this is something that we really try to bring into our team. It's one of the signs that they see right when they walk in. Um, but it, it's something that we build up. And again, going back to that ownership idea, it, we, asked, we had a meeting with our guys at the beginning of the year and we asked them, what do they want the brotherhood to feel like? And this is what they said. They said that they want everybody to feel significant on the team. First line center, 14th forward, first defenseman, uh, eighth defenseman. They should all feel like they've got a significant role in our team. They want to have a, a locker room that can solve issues together. Stuff's going to come up. It's going to. And we need to be able to have a plan that we can get through that together. They want our locker room to feel like a family. We love the good times. We need those. But... Hockey is, is, there has some tough times too. Adversity is a part of our game. And so through the good times and the bad, we want to feel like a family. And this is a bit coachy. We, we brought this in. The moment at the end of the season where you lift the trophy, it's fleeting. It comes and it goes. The brotherhood that you create with your teammates, that's what you remember forever. And that's our why and that's where our purpose comes in. So we've talked a bit about how we act and now what we're going to get into is how we work. We talked a bit about this pyramid of success before, something we feel is tried and true. Every team has something like this. Uh, I've seen the walls on the University of Michigan here have something very similar. For us at the foundation is our character and leadership. If you want to win, you have to play hard. If you want to win consistently, you have to play hard and smart. If you want a chance to be great, you have to play as a team and together. And we have a saying on our team, a stronger I makes a better we. If each individual is better by the end of the season, we are now a better hockey team. And so when we talk specifically about work, um, if we're living according to our values, we shouldn't have to talk about work a whole heck of a lot. Our, our work will get taken care of by our core values and the way we act. But what we do need to do is have really clear definitions for what these things mean. And so uh, when we talk about our playing hard, our guys know that we have to sprint, we have to stop, we have to battle. They, they all know where, when, why, and how to all of those elements. And we have very clear pictures of what our expectations are, about what it means to play hard, and we're holding guys to that standard constantly. When we talk about self-improvement, we're always here for players uh, to be able to help create a plan and a vision about how they can get better, but they have to drive it. They have to be the guys that get excited about their own development, and we're going to be here constantly to help support and keep them on track. But when we talk about specifically our above-the-line work, this is what we're referring to.